Okay, so this is my next cooking video. Um, this one is all focused on how to read a recipe. So this is something I'm actually not very good at. I love trying new foods, trying out um, new ways to cook things, but I kind of suck at reading recipes, especially if it's um, baking. This is not baking though. Um, what we're making today is miso soup. So, um, I got my recipe out of a book um, called Potluck from McMinnville Montessori Community. Uh, my wife ordered it for me, and this is my first recipe that I'm cooking out of it. It's miso soup, and I decided to make it because my son, who's 10 months old, really loves tofu. Um, and we had miso soup one day at a sushi restaurant, and he went bananas for it. So the very first thing you do when you get a new recipe, when you're going to read a new recipe, read through all the ingredients you're going to need, and then read through the steps of the recipe. This is really important because you don't want to get to a step and go, oh shit, I forgot to do that thing, or I don't have this other thing ready, or you know, feel lost or confused. Really make sure you understand it. And a good example is in this recipe, <clears throat> it said, in step two it says remove one cup of stock. And I was like, stock? There's no stock in the ingredients list. Like, what the heck does that mean? So I had to go back and I had to reread and see what it meant. Um, so I've got all of my things together. I've got this big ass pot. Then I'm gonna do six cups of water, this big thing. Uh, um, for this recipe, I went to the Asian grocery store. I did buy the wrong kind of tofu. So again, read your recipe, make sure you get the ingredients you actually need. This says um, cubed soft tofu. I bought firm tofu. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna use it and see what happens. Um, Bonito flakes. There is no English on this package. It took me like an hour to find these. Um, it's basically dried flaked tuna. I got white miso. Um, the recipe says white or red or both. Um, wakame seaweed. This is a very big package of seaweed. This recipe calls for one teaspoon, which is basically going to be like this, this much of this whole bag. Now, luckily, you can use wakame seaweed for a lot of other recipes. So I'm gonna use it later in the week and make some seaweed and cucumber salad, and that's gonna be great. And then, of course, I read the recipe wrong, and I have a regular onion, not a green onion. This recipe calls for green onion. Um, but that's it, it's a very simple recipe. Um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out because I've never made it before, and that's part of the fun of following a new recipe. I think um, my best advice for recipes is ask questions if you're confused. Go on the internet. I didn't know what Benito was. I didn't know what I was looking for. Um, I walked around Safeway and Fred Meyer looking for miso and thought, oh, well, I'm going to the Asian store anyway. I'll just get miso there. Miso's in the refrigerated section. I had no idea. Um, I'm thinking miso paste. It's going to come in a little jar. It's going to be next to the curry paste. Um, wrong. I was very wrong. It's in the refrigerated section. So, you know, it might have been at those other stores and I just didn't know where to look. Um, yeah, I, I just think um, trying recipes is hard because you never know if it's going to work out okay. And I think it's really important to go easy on yourself. You know, if the recipe doesn't turn out the way I want it to, um, it's nothing to cry about. I mean, I'll probably feel sad. I'll probably feel a little embarrassed. But, um, you know, we'll order a pizza. And it won't be that big of a deal. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do all with all my leftover miso and bonito. So if anyone has suggestions for that besides just making a butt ton more miso soup, please let me know. And um, that's it. Good luck when you read a recipe. Um... You know, if you, again, if you don't know what something means, if you don't know what TSP means, Google it. If you don't want, know what wakame seaweed is, Google it. If you don't know where in a grocery store to find something, Google it. Um, and if you don't want to Google it, ask somebody who's made it before. If it's your grandma's recipe, call your grandma on the phone and ask her what this means. Um, 
My baby has run out of crackers, so I have to go take care of this cracker emergency. Wish me luck on this recipe, and I hope to post something again soon.